Hello, campers. Heidi, hi. How many of you shouted out "Hody ho"? Maybe some of some of my English British viewers, or well, maybe you get Heidi high in America. I don't know. Anyway, I'm inside Karen, and for those of you that don't know, Karen is the name of our coachman, Caravan. I think she's um, what is she? She's a 2019 model. No, she's not. No, <laughs> 2009. 2009, 2009. She's a 2009, I think. Anyway, obviously she was second hand. And we're about to um, embark on our second journey um, off the drive into the great blue yonder. Um, yes, we've only had her out once since we got her. Uh, very rainy time we spent near Beverly. So hopefully the weather will be a bit better. We've made a few, well I've made a few improvements to the inside of the caravan. We've bought an awning for the outside of the caravan. Hopefully we'll get a chance to put that up later on in this series of videos. But I'll just um, show you what I'm doing. Just getting things prepared inside, giving it a clean, getting the bedding sorted. Mark's going to do some external things later, tyre pressures, etc. Um, the fridge is going to be put on so it's nice and cold and then we'll be off to Sainsbury's later to buy some meals and things for our four night trip away. Okay, let me show you what I'm up to at the moment. Well, as you can see, it's a, a little bit of a mess, but uh, there is method in my madness. Now, I have stored all the bedding in the caravan. I haven't brought it inside and it was obviously washed after our last trip but I decided to wash it all again just to freshen it up. If I'd stored it inside the house in a spare wardrobe I probably wouldn't have bothered washing it again. It smelt okay but you know. So I've just at the moment I've just got my two single sets of bedding up here but they're going to be put actually on the duvets because we have a bag each. Uh, if I can get it. One of these uh, IKEA bags. So we have one of those each and that IKEA bag will hold the, the duvet cover and the sheet and um, the pillow. So we do have separate duvets, but we found from our last trip, we tried it both ways. We tried having the sink, these set up as single beds, and then we tried it as the double. It is a bit bigger than a double, slightly longer, uh, wider than a double, I think. So we discovered that having two dogs as well, <laughs> which will be sharing our bed, we found it was more comfortable to be in the double. So we're going to have to risk touching each other while we're in the caravan. It doesn't normally happen. We normally sleep in separate bedrooms on separate floors, I might add. So there's no hanky panky, I can assure you. And there certainly won't be any rocking of this caravan. So one lives in hope. Now, so, <laughs> Because it's quite cold at night, now somebody did laugh at me when I did um, a video showing all the things we bought for the caravan. Um, we've got two single duvets that clip together. Now this is a 10.5 TOG and it also comes with I think a 4.5 TOG and clipped together they make a 15 TOG. So Mark has said bring them both just in case it gets cold. We can have the heating on overnight. I don't really like running the heating on overnight, but uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to clip them together and we'll have 15 TOG single duvets. So we have a separate duvet each, so there's no problem with one person hogging the duvet. So I'm going to clip those together, put the duvet covers on and put them in the IKEA bags. They store under one of the sofas. I've also got a couple of toppers. They're just like thick duvets. And there again, they're single. In hindsight, if I'd known we were using it as a double, I would have just got a double or a king mattress topper, maybe a memory foam, but that's for later. It's fine. So I put the topper on and then I put a fleecy under blanket, which makes it more comfortable. And then I've got a king fitted sheet. So I think a king is better in this instance. It gives you a bit more room to tuck stuff, out, tuck stuff in. Don't get a double, get a king doesn't cost much more and you've got a little bit more leeway for tucking. So that's that's our sleeping arrangements. Now, the uh, past day or two, I've just been giving the caravan a bit of a clean up, not much, and finishing off putting these non-slip uh, mats in the cupboards and drawers. I mean, they're useful because things don't slip about, but they're also useful if you might spill something. It keeps, 
keeps it clean you know uh, inside here these will be on board when we're traveling so very light just a couple of nice teddy bear fleeces we can have um, if we get a bit chilly sat on the sofa it, it was very nice to have those when we were stuck in the caravan most of the time the first trip we went out mark has actually bought one of these uh, this is basically for just keeping the um, leisure battery topped up on a trickle charge sort of thing he did he bought it um, he said it just works by plugging into the cigarette lighter socket which it shouldn't be plugged into actually is it no it isn't not because I've got the we've got the caravan plugged into the mains at the moment because I wanted the main so I could have the telly on you know when I'm cleaning so I'm just going to give the fridge a wipe out um, didn't get dirty but you know Oh, that's yeah the the, the debris fell off during transit on the way home i think it'll just pop back in but that fridge will be stocked later today with uh, enough more or less enough food for four days uh, i think we're going for three whole days i think we're going to need four main meals because we're going monday tuesday we're going on monday and we're coming back friday so uh, that'll be sorted and the fridge is always left ajar when not in use on that doobie I'll just show you a little improvement I made in here now this is a cocktail cabinet and inside the cocktail cabinet well absolutely all these clips to hold bottles right and these um, I might they might be to hold the stems of wine glasses I'm not sure anyway I did ask when we first bought the caravan about taking them out and the dealer said oh no you can't they're riveted in well they're not riveted in they're screwed in with regular Phillips screws so I thought well it's not going to do any harm taking them out I mean the, there was one here and there was some on this side and even taking them out of the back panel I mean it doesn't affect the outer shell of the caravan it's not like now I've taken out the three clips it's going to leak water in because obviously the furniture is fitted inside the shell it's when you start screwing things that away with longer screws you could have trouble so I've just unscrewed them so now I've also put the mat in now that is a much more useful cupboard and it's tall enough so in there we're going to put like our breakfast cereal and bread and things so that's what we're going to do in there and another little improvement little thing we bought that we need thought we needed and a lot of things you buy you find you probably need them some things you buy you won't need but when we were um, on our first trip this was the cupboard we used for most of the food and it was a bit you know you couldn't really put much in it's tall but there's no shelf so I've just got one of these from Amazon I think it was and um, that means you can double you know you can put some tins on the underside packets and things this gives you a bit of extra room and this is obviously where we keep our plates and crockery when we're actually on site I'm gonna leave this some plastic glasses uh, some wine glasses and some uh, highballs in there I just leave those uh, while we're traveling another little thing we did we've got these collapsible crates I've got four might not need four but these flat collapsible crates now this is something else we should have done initially but excuse the mess that's all the awning we've got that's not staying now last time we had all our crockery and appliances the toast and kettle and things inside these boxes so when we unpacked them we were still left with these big boxes which we did put in the bottom of the wardrobe but this time when we unpack these we're just going to be left with you know the collapsed things which will probably still go in the bottom of the wardrobe but we can put all four on top of each other they hardly take up any room so that's a good thing to do um, we're going to leave because we tried it on the way back from our first um, trip out we left everything in this drawer and we're going to leave everything in this drawer again I've put the non-slip mats everything stays more or less where it is so it's fine to leave that so we don't have to unpack it the only things really and that's all in here are the breakables all the crockery and glassware they will be put in the middle here when we're on voyage with some other things on top just to secure them um, 
these I don't think are worth doing these are moisture traps and I put a few of these in the caravan. Now I did, didn't put them in the main body of the caravan. I put them inside cupboards, you know, with the door closed. And they've hardly collected any, there's a little bit in there. They've hardly collected anything. And I've subsequently read online that they're not really worth doing because all they do is attract moisture into the caravan that maybe not have been in there. That's what I've been told anyway. There's plenty of ventilation that comes into this caravan. I've not noticed any moisture ingress or damp. I don't, th I won't be using these again. Uh, I'm not going to buy any more. I don't think it's necessary. Yesterday, it's quite sunny now. Yesterday was a lovely day for a change. So I aired out the caravan while I was in it. I opened up the sky roof, uh, all the vents. I cracked open some of the windows just to let the air ventilate and it freshened it up. You know, I don't think you need these personally. Um, that's my own personal experience. Inside here, let me just move that out of the way. Got to do a thorough vacuuming. We've got the induction hob, which we're leaving in there. I did find that useful, about 50 pounds. Just saves us using our own gas when we're on a fully um, service site. Fire blanket, which stays in there. And also the washing up things are in that bowl. Um, I bought something else. Hang on, where is it? Excuse me. Oh, oh, it's here. Again, there's non-slip uh, doobies. I bought this. This is a new thing. If I can get it out, because it slipped. How did that slip back there? This seems quite useful. Can't remember where I bought it. Oh, there we are. This is a collapsible drainer. So it does pop out, if I can do it with my knee. It's very hard to film single-handedly. I did find that it would have been useful for the washing up. There we are, right. So basically you've got place to put your cutlery and stack your plates and stuff when you've washed up. We also bought a mat which is somewhere. <laughs> Where is it? This is a bit of a mess at the moment. It's working. Oh, it's underneath here. It's under the cooker. There is a, a washing up mat, a drying mat I got from a shop called Boys for I think $2.99. So what we can do, we can put the drying mat on top of the cooker and then put this on there. Or we can put it on the draining board. You know, we've got options, but that's that I think will be useful. So we haven't bought a huge amount of extra things. Uh, oh, this is one other thing we've bought. This is a road refresher non sort of spill supposed to be a non sort spill dog water bowl um, it's got velcro on the bottom so it should sort of stick to a carpet if you've got a hard floor it um, will stick to a hard floor with the other pieces of velcro something else um, I'm planning on doing I got these I use these inside the house I got these from Ikea these are cupboard lights you can turn them on manually or they come on automatically when you open the door so I've got this long one to go inside the wardrobe to light up the wardrobe. I've got two smaller ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. Again, you have to be careful when screwing these in. It's only tiny screws, but I wouldn't screw anything like this into an external part, you know, into inside cupboard that goes onto the external part of the caravan, just in case. But in the um, wardrobe, I'm going to put it on the plinth part at the top. Um, so it's, you know, it's not going to go through. It's only a small screw. Um, that's a lo another little thing just to lighten up um, the dark areas. Now this is all a mess uh, That's just a folding chair mark bought for the awning. We, do, we need to get another one at some stage This is the awning, but that's going to be in the car. I just put it in here out the way. That's the um, water uh, Waste not waste hog water hog thingy, you know We have to take that we're not taking the waste hog this time. We didn't need it in the last fully serviced pitch. I don't think we're going to need it in the one we're going to. So that's staying at home. That'll save a bit of space. But that will be taken in the caravan. The carpet for the awning will either go in the car or caravan, depending on weight. Um, there's some poles for the awning. There's a the pump for the awning. That actually should fit in here. So that'll go in the car. And there's our sort of fold away, sort of cupboard slash table thing. That will probably go in here. What we're thinking of doing, we'll put the crates in the middle and then we'll probably put 
the awning table in its bag on top and just wedge it all in so that'd be fine the tv first trip it was taken in the car on the way home though all i did with that was i unplugged it obviously and s slid it on the sofa and piled a load of cushions on top and that survived qu quite fine that was okay so um don't think there's anything else i can show you at the moment I've given given everywhere here a bit of a clean up, just a wipe down, um, checked everything. Obviously, it's all going to be tidied out. <laughs> it's a, a work in progress. But um, yeah, hopefully the weather won't be too bad this time. We'll get be able to get out and do some walks. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I think I'll get the bedding because the bedding, other bedding is dry now. It's just been in a tumble dryer. So I'm going to get all the bedding sorted packed away in those ikea bags put underneath the um sofas plus the the mattress toppers are already under there i've just left those and the i've just washed the uh, fleecy um mattress uh, protector thing as well that's just drying now so that'll be packed in its bag so all the bedding will fit underneath there no problem there's a couple of covers i washed those they go on on the sofas they just keep keep the sofas clean any mucky dog pause or whatever um so that's about it all i've got to do again yeah put the bedding away give the place a good vacuuming give everywhere all the sofas a good vacuuming the carpet and everything and then i think we'll be ready for our next trip and then mark will be doing the external bits and uh get it hooked up to the car and we'll be on our merry way Thanks for watching. Please join us again when I'll be showing you where we've taken the caravan and hopefully, weather permitting, we'll put up our camper air awning for the first time. There may be a lot of bleeping required in that video, but it all looks very simple on campers' uh, videos, so hopefully we'll have not too much trouble putting up the awning. I might just stay in the caravan watching TV with the dogs under a blanket while Mark is outside huffing and puffing and swearing we'll see we'll probably do it as a team because that's what it's all about caravanning if you've got somebody to do it with you it's best to share the load so as i said we're sharing the load by i'm making sure all the internal things are sorted all the bedding and all the crockery and everything is ready and mark will do the external and you know it works out like that so that's fine if you've liked this video please give it a thumb up if you haven't liked it please give it a thumb down and never darken my door again but if you have liked it please click the subscribe button and you'll see other caravanning content as well as other stuff i do this is not a caravanning channel it's not dedicated to caravanning i do all sorts of other bits and pieces but there will be caravanning content you can just ignore all the other stuff if you don't want to watch that so until the next time thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon bye for now